Um, okay, so this is a rodent coil right there. I know you can't see it that well, but this is the device that creates 62.4% less friction and resistance than a modern combustion engine, like a car engine, when energy is flowing through it. Because mathematically, you know, it has a, it has a pattern of numbers 1 through 9 that maps the underpinning geometry of the universe. And when energy is flowing through it, it reacts naturally and works the way a tree naturally grows, the way the sun naturally shines, the way energy naturally flows through our universe. So we have to consider, you know, since Marco Rodin irrefutably discovered the mathematical pattern that blueprints our entire universe, um, why then this device couldn't instantly create free energy? And after a lot of investigation and a lot of research, I realized it's because one Rodin coil wasn't enough, and neither was two. Um, what was needed was three rodent coils fused together in the shape of an atom. So what you basically would do would take this, a full rodent coil, and put it one right here, one right here, and another one right here. And they're all fusing together. And if you look closer, I outlined in red where all the numbers would fuse together. And when I did this, um, all the numbers matched up perfectly, flawlessly. And uh, I can show you mathematically now. Um, this right here is a rodent coil flattened out. You know, as if you took the donut-shaped rodent coil, pulled it apart, and used like a rolling pin and flattened it. This is what it would be. And you can see if I get real close, maybe with the light, you can see the numbers and the pattern, and um, you know. Hopefully, you're already familiar with Mark Rowan's work. At the end, I'll show you how you can learn the actual pattern and its significance and how it works, so you know I'm not just you know chucking it around. So anyway, that's a flattened rodent coil. You flatten it out. Now, this is what happened when I put all three of them together. This is the shape it created, and you can see. Here was my original rodent coil I put right here, like the image we just had before. And then all I did was take another rodent coil, flip it, and mirror it, and put it this way. Yeah, like that. And then another, the third final rodent coil is right here, going straight down the middle. And so when you get that, you get the original image which I showed you. Of, uh, of this, where there'd be three rodent coils fused together. And I made like a little, it's pretty crude, but I made a little three-dimensional model showing what it would look like in 3D. So you see it's not just a flat donut, it's fused together. It would be all three of them fused together, you know, to create that shape of an atom. And, um, so, uh, I'll keep looking, and um, so when I did this, <laughs> sorry, I'm a little nervous, um, this symbol right here, uh, oh shoot, I guess I'm doing it over, um, this symbol right here, right here, that's known as the flower of life, okay? And this symbol is found in ancient temples, in ancient civilizations, from all different time periods. This same exact symbol right here, this one, is found everywhere. From civilizations that would never have known that other civilizations even existed. They were spread apart thousands of years, but they all came up with this same exact symbol. And now, just for a little evidence, I can show you pictures, you know, of places where they found it. And, uh, of course, you know, it's not working. Uh, here we go. 
Okay, this is a really popular one. This is very well known. It's, uh, God, you can't see it very well. Um, but it's a temple in Osiris, Egypt. Okay, and basically it's the flower of life pattern put into the wall, you know. Uh, and then there's the next one. That's a closer up view. You can see it much better now. And then in the next temple, this is in the Forbidden City of China. You can see, you can see how under his claw, there's also the flower of life symbol. And, you know, can you see that? You can make that out. And so it's found in China as well as Egypt. And then this is a temple in India, I believe. Uh, yes, it's an Indian temple. And it's right there in the middle. And then two more, the top and the one on the right, those are both from Indian temples. And the bottom left is one from Turkey. And these are all different time periods, all different civilizations, all creating this same symbol, carving them into walls. Here's another one in a Knights Templar's tomb. Okay, so basically, I had to wonder, you know, why, what's the importance of this symbol? You know, why is it important? And if you look at the Flower of Life, again, the Flower of Life symbol is right here, but then you compare it to this, the Flux Thruster Atom Pulsar, which is basically what Marco Roden wanted to call his free energy device. I'm just using it because I like the name too. Um, but I mean, if you look at it, look at the shape. Look at this ancient symbol compared to when you take three rodent coils and you fuse them together. It's the same shape. And if you look again at a different one, this is the atom. This is, this is what we are made up of. This is the shape that creates what we are. This is the shape of this device. Okay, um, we got to the eye. So that's the end of the presentation right there. Um, but hopefully, you know, I'm just, I know it's a really crude presentation, but um, I'm hoping that people will understand what I'm trying to say, will understand what's going on here, and then the real ball will start getting rolling, you know. And this device can actually be created not just out of tinfoil, uh, but with, you know, real copper wiring. And we're going to have to figure out how to, you know, design it about Marco Roden's copper wiring and his, ge his geometric, you know, geometry is perfect, but like the way we're building it, I'm not sure that's perfect. But um, I just hope people can recognize it, you know, what's going on. And then when they do, we can create this device because I'm not an electrical engineer. I can't do it. So, okay, I'm rambling. I can tell. Um, all right. So that's pretty much my presentation. Um, if you want to know about Marco Roden's uh, number pattern, so you know that I'm not just full of it, I'm just chucking the bull at you. Um, look up Marco Roden on YouTube. You can find a ton of stuff will pop up all about him. Um, I recommend his main presentation. Um, fantastic. It's good to see you. Later.